Hi y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, my South Florida vacation is in full swing. Today I am in the Florida Keys and boy, we're gonna have some fun today. I'm gonna see if I can work this bridge here behind me and get us some bait. Don't matter to me what we get. We just need something to bait a hook with. Once we do that, boy, oh boy, we're gonna have a good time. I'm gonna head up to the Seven Mile Bridge, which is a well-known, this tourist attraction really down here in the Florida Keys. Tons of fish, most importantly, tons of big fish swim around that bridge. So we're going to take whatever live baits we get here. We're going to take them up there, troll around with them, and hopefully hook into an absolute monster today. Come with me, y'all. Come enjoy this vacation with me. Let's have some fun. So here's what I'm going to start with trying to get us some bait. These are crappie magnets on one eighth ounce jig heads. I got a couple of them on in a series. This is basically what I use to catch catfish bait with back home. I catch skipjack with this rod. I got a, a six and a half foot medium heavy bass fishing rod, 3000 size reel. And I'm gonna throw this rig around these bridge pilings in here. Maybe a little loud on camera with all this traffic going over. But we're gonna work this bait around through here. If this don't pan out, look right here. Look right here, oh, I had one following it right all the way up. I don't know what that was. If this don't work out though, for whatever reason, we got a couple other options. I've got some gulp that we can put on, and I've also got, I stopped at the tackle shop on the way out through here and got some frozen shrimp that we'll tip a hook with and see if we can get something with that. But we're gonna, we're gonna get us some bait, y'all, and then we're gonna go have some fun. So the crappie magnets have failed us thus far. So what I'm gonna do is take a, a piece of shrimp here, just a tiny piece, and I'm gonna tip a gulp minnow on a 132nd ounce jig head, number six hook. We're gonna put a little piece of shrimp on there, and we're gonna throw that around these bridge pilots. I'm having the crappie magnets get nipped. They've bit the tails off of the dang plastics but they ain't hooking up. So we're gonna try this out here and see what this'll do. Got something right here. Y'all watch out behind me now, this current's flowing. It may take me into these bridge columns here if y'all ain't paying attention to me. I don't know what this is. Let's see, we'll get him over here, get a look at him, see if it's something we can actually use or if it's one of them protected fish. I'm having a hard time getting spun around here. Y'all bear with me. We will have something come up and eat this thing while, <laughs> while I'm messing around trying to get the kayak spun. All right. Well, I think that's one of them there snappers. We can't. They fun. At least on this ultralight anyway, this size. But we can't use that for a bait. Give me that hook back, fish. Well, he's wanting a souvenir, ain't he? He don't even want to open up. Yeah, we can't use that. We ain't trying to get no ticket out here. Let's take us another little piece of shrimp. And tip this gulp. I don't know that we need. We probably get by with one or the other. Either just a piece of shrimp or just the gulp. And I said, by gosh. Let's just use them both. One or the other might work, but both ain't gonna hurt nothing. Throw that over there by that bridge column. And just let it sink down. That current's working this way under the bridge. And so I'm just kind of letting it kind of sweep back into that shaded area over there. We got a fish on too, just like that. I don't know what he is, but I hope it's something we can legally use. They proud of them snapper things down here. We, they don't want you using them, but pretty much anything else you get is open season. Oh boy, it's gonna pull now. Let me, let me steer him on up this way.
I could make a day out of this right here. If they wasn't so many big fish around that are just pulling at my heartstrings to go catch, I could make a day out of just working these bridge columns with an ultralight. Oh, that's, a, that's a, another one right there. All right, let's let him go. Another one of them old snappers. Something thumped me. Let's hope it ain't another one of them danged old snappers. Anything but a snapper. Come on now. <laughs> we liable. You reeling these dang things in, you liable to have something come up and, and nail them. Yeah, that's a that's another one right there. The old snapper. Leave them things down there so I can catch me something better, why don't you? We got another one. <laughs> it's ever cast with this pieces of shrimp. Frozen shrimp on a jig head, tossed out. I had hoped to work those crappie magnets through here, maybe pick off some ladyfish or mackerel, you know, something larger that we could chunk up. But just wasn't getting anything. I was getting small taps from fish that were biting the tails off, which I assume was probably, it was probably these snappers biting the tails off of my crappie magnets. So they can, they can chew up these pieces of shrimp. I don't care about them, but we catch them every day in cast. We just need something that we can legally keep. There's just another piece of that shrimp on the jig head. I don't know if you can see it under this bridge while we're in the shade here, but literally that's all I'm doing. It's taking a, just a small piece of shrimp I've cut up, put it on that jig head, cast it out, let it sink down. And all along these pilings, there's fish. Now, unfortunately, they're mostly snapper, it seems like, which for whatever reason, you can't, can't use those as bait down here. But it's action, man. I mean, it's literally ever, about ever cast. I'm either catching a fish or I'm getting the bait. I got one after me right here. He's either gonna get that hook or he's gonna steal the bait. He got the, he got the, the hook. Well, guys, got us another. Any, fingers crossed, y'all, anything but a snapper. <laughs> it's a little better one right here, buddy. He's pulling. He's gone. He's going to run this way. I'll just follow him on out. He wanted to come out here and get in the sun so y'all can see him, see him in the light there. I need a big shark to come up and eat this thing while I'm reeling him in. Since I can't, since I can't officially use him for bait, that's what we need to happen. That's a good size one right there too, though. There. Well, I don't think I was ever getting that hook out of him, man. <laughs> Gosh, we got we got the hook and the piece of shrimp back at him. He didn't want to open his mouth for nothing, though. That snapper right there, he knew. He knew this was his big opportunity to get on this video. Oh, boy, this one's going to run. This one's going to run right here, man. This one's a little better fish. Don't know what he is, but he's definitely a little better quality. Again, fingers crossed, anything but a snapper. <laughs> Man, he's going, he's going to run out here. Let's go out here and see if we can get this kayak spun around a little bit. Well, now he's coming back this way. He can't make up his mind which direction he wants to go. Yeah, yesterday I was in, I was at Lake Ida, 
up on the mainland there of Florida and was catching peacocks and copper nose bluegill on this setup. I'm gonna tell you, these things right here, whatever I've hooked right here, fights a little harder than those. Whatever he is here. Oh my gosh, it's another one. Another one, y'all. My gosh, these things are a nuisance. <laughs> People may love them down here, but by gosh, they're a dang nuisance. Oh no. Oh, look at that. He just crapped all over my foot. That dang fish doo dooed on me. Things went from bad to worse. Man, I can't believe that. The old fish, you, what'd you do that for? This fish said, doo doo on you. I gotta use my pliers on him. He's gone. He's gonna be an ornery thing. Well, I bent my hook trying to get it out, but by gosh, we got it out of him. That in there, I think that's probably the, the biggest one out here so far. And there he goes, he gone. I gotta wash this crap off my foot and I'm gonna put another piece of shrimp on there. We'll keep working along through here. Oh, here's something else that's pulling like a Dickens. What do you wanna bet it's another snapper? Somebody bet me a shiny nickel right now. If you wanna lose you a nickel, get your bet in right now. I bet you it's a snapper. <laughs> These dang things are everywhere here on these bridges. Let's see, I ain't got a good look at him. Why, yeah, it most certainly is. <laughs> I called it. If you bet against me, by gosh, I expect that nickel in the mail. Another pretty good size one, at least, though. At least this one here was kind enough not to crap all over me. Yeah, they're a sporty fish, especially on an ultralight rod. If he'd open his mouth, he'd show you them teeth. Ain't none of them got a full, full mouth of teeth. They like them meth heads back home, man. Just one tooth here and there. Oh, I've insulted him. Now he's mad at me. He said he'll make sure. He'll make sure to tell all his friends about it too. They'll all gang up on me down here. Well, I'm gonna take another piece of this shrimp. We'll go throw out over here. and I'm gonna give it a few more minutes, see if I can get something. If not, I did when I stopped at the bait shop and bought this frozen shrimp, I got some frozen ballyhoo. And so we'll cut them up and chunk them and go see what we can get with those. I, I kind of wanted to kill some time out here for a little while today. One, to see if we could get us some live baits. The other reason too is to let the wind die down. This bridge here, I'm kind of protected from it. But when we get up to the seven mile bridge, the wind was really going to be moving and it's about, we've got a window of time this afternoon where the wind was going to die down significantly. And so I was kind of killing some time to let it die down and something just hit us. And so it's about time to, time we get on up there, things should be good with the wind. Oh, that's another one there, broke me off. He wanted him a jig too. Daggone him. Yeah. We'll mess around here a few more minutes and then we're gonna get on the move and go up here to the other bridge. So I've made it here to the seven mile bridge. It's directly behind me. And right now the wind has died down. It was really high this morning. It's died down some, but it is still incredibly choppy out here. The current is currently going this way through the bridges and the wind is blowing this direction. So it's creating a lot of chop. Now out here where I'm at right now, we're gonna be fine. Where it might get a little sketchy is if something we hook into something big and he tows us through the old bridge over there getting through that with the current and the wind that may be a show that may be the most exciting part of the video so i'm gonna need y'all 
We hook in something big. I'm gonna need y'all to tell them, tow me this direction. It's wide open out this way. So we would gladly go that direction. But anyway, I'm gonna get baited up y'all. I've been looking forward to this trip for so long. So let's get baited up, see what's swimming down there and hopefully hook into a daggone monster and go for a sleigh ride today. So there's our first bait. That's a chunk of ballyhoo on a 10 aught size circle hook, wire leader, about three foot up my line there. I've got a balloon. It's gonna give that a toss here behind me. I'm gonna backlash myself in the process. And I'm gonna let out some line. And I'm gonna troll through here along these bridges. And we're gonna see what all we can hook into. I think if we do cook something, we're gonna be in for a good time, y'all. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that thing. Boy, I done got it wrapped around the bridge pile in there behind me. <laughs> there it come. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna stick this in the rod holder. I'm on. Turn that clicker on now. So we in business, folks. Like I said, I'm just going to slow troll up through here. Hopefully something's going to pick up on that scent trail and come eat it. Don't matter to me what it is, but I hope it has teeth. Oh, we got a little something happening here. Something hitting. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go, buddy. Oh, here we go. Oh, man. Oh, man. There he was behind me. Did he? Oh, did he just come off? Tighten down our drag a little bit. Let's see which way he wants to go. We got something on. I saw him come up and thrash the surface, but I don't know what he is. We got to back up a little bit here. We got to see which one of these bridges he wants to go through. This is going to be the challenge, folks. This is going to be the challenge when he cuts through one of these bridges. We're going to have to... I've got my other rods laid down behind me. Come on, buddy. Turn. Go the other way, would you? He ain't. He's going that way. <laughs> it's going to get a little sketchy. I don't know how big he is. We may. He's not taking a ton of drag here. Maybe we can turn him. Whatever he was, he was thrashing around. But I, I was, couldn't get a good look. I just saw the commotion. Oh, he's got me on the edge of that concrete. Okay, here he comes. Here he comes. He's going the other way. Good fish. Good boy. Y'all told him. I told you to tell him which way to go, and y'all done it, and he listened. Ah, let me get spun. He's going to go in a circle with us now. <laughs> this is awesome, y'all. This is awesome. Yes, and here ate our ate her ballyhoo well, I tried fishing there under that other bridge and just cutting kept catching snapper which I ain't trying to get no ticket out here so I let them go but thankfully we had plan B and plan B has got us something although I don't know exactly what it is yet He can't be very big for us to have been able to turn him though. It's a good starter size today. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh yeah. He's strong. He's strong, whatever he is. Man, this is fun y'all. I've been looking forward to this for so long since last year when i left here i've been looking forward to coming back i'm a terrible saltwater fisherman very minimal experience i make a ton of mistakes but boy i sure have a lot of fun <laughs> as long as you don't end up in the water you're able to have fun doing this now, if i end up in the water that ain't gonna be for a good day <laughs> I have no idea what this thing is. I don't think it's a shark. It's something that wants to spin in a circle. He needs to just, oh man. 
I'm worried he's going to get over here in my pedal drive. Yeah, I don't know what this thing is, y'all. Is that a is that a barracuda? I think that might be a barracuda. Oh, old, old barracuda here. Barry Cooter has ate our cut bait. <laughs> Boy, that's a toothy feller all right. That's a pretty good fish. I don't think these are very desirable down here, but for an old hillbilly like me from Tennessee, I'm happy to catch him. It was a fun time right there. Oh, that hook, he ain't hooked very good, y'all. He ain't hooked very good. Let's see if I can get my lip grips here. See if we can get hold of this thing. <laughs> oh, man. Boy, look at the mouth on that thing, man. Look at all them teeth right there. There went the hook, buddy. Oh, oh, oh man, look at that, y'all. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Again, I don't know if these fish are very desirable down here, but boy, they are to me. Kind of same way with sharks. Nobody wants to catch a shark that lives in Florida, but I'd love to hook into a big one today. Nice. I'm gonna try to get him like this. Maybe you can get a look at them chompers on him there. He gonna open his mouth for you now. Smile for the camera there, Barracuda. Ain't gonna do it. <laughs> well, that was fun, y'all. <laughs> All right, well, let's let him go. Hey, out of here. He go. First big fish down here in the Florida Keys. Well, let's get us another piece of ballyhoo on, and I'm gonna keep doing the same thing. Just troll it, throw it behind me under the balloon about three four foot down and just work along the edge i'm just gonna keep working down through here and who knows what else we're gonna run into everything in this dang ocean will be up here around these bridges so we could hook possibly anything so i'm trying a slightly different strategy this time i've been trolling with the bait behind the kayak and that makes it a bit of a challenge when the fish hits i have to get this kayak spun around before i can take off after them now what i'm trying this time is i've got the bait out there uh, kind of the same area you know working along the edge of the bridge columns but i'm facing the balloon and i'm pedaling backwards now it's a little bit more of a challenge as far as boat control goes since the the winds this way and the currents this way but when a fish does hit it's going to make it so much easier to just pick up the rod and take off after him since i'm going to be just right there pointed in the right direction so just one of these things I'm kind of experimenting with at the moment. Yeah, I'm a complete amateur rookie saltwater fisherman, especially when it comes out here in this, this open ocean type fishing. I've just done it a handful of times in my life now. So uh, still, still learning the ropes, if you will, but we're experimenting. We already got to skunk out with a barracuda, so I'm feeling pretty good right now. Oh, I thought something was getting after it. By gosh, he is. Something got me. Oh, man. Oh, did he just drop it? No, he's still on there. He's still on there. I thought I saw my balloon. It wasn't really, it wasn't really taking the, the line. But I saw my balloon. It just didn't look right. Oh, man. We got to go through. We got to go through, y'all. He's gonna run me over the edge of the concrete here if we don't. Woo! All right, we off, y'all. We off, we got through it. Let's go out here and see what we can, see what we can get. Get what we can chase him down. <laughs> it's been a while, man. I've been just working my way. Just right along the edge of those bridges with the current going this way. I thought the scent and the blood would kind of come through the other side through those bridges there. And so we'd have a chance at getting fish both on the front and the back side of the bridge. And well, it just ain't, 
ballyhoo don't seem to be where it's at for bait but it got us that barracuda and it's got us hooked up with something here that we have to get out here and chase down man <laughs> it's fun y'all i think it's just the excitement of just not knowing what the heck you got what you got hooked up to you know it could be anything oh, i see him thrashing around out there i don't know what it was i saw him come up we go into these waves may get splashed a little bit here if with water gets on the lens y'all just have to come through the screen there teleport yourself through and squeegee it off i probably i probably ain't gonna be able to, to keep track of it right now while i'm hooked up to this thing and trying to keep myself upright out here we're just gonna tire him out whatever he is let him let him tow us along He'll wear down eventually. He's going to wear down before I do, I'll tell you that. I've been waiting a long time to hook into whatever he is, so I ain't going to tire out. <laughs> now, after I've caught a few of him and his friends this week, maybe we get toward the end of the week, my arm might be tired. He might have a better shot at me then. I just want to keep myself... I really just want to, as he pulls, I want to keep myself as straight as possible with him. Don't want to get sideways with him and the waves out here, that's for sure. I didn't mention my gear here in the, in the intro, but I'm using Catfish Sumo Elite 150 rods. These things, you talk about a stout rod. They're a catfish rod, but they can hold up to whatever this is. He's pulling hard, and you can see where my rod tip is there. These things can lift 150 pounds. So, I mean, they're, they're a stout rod. And I got a Daiwa Seagate reel. It's the size 50. I've got it spooled with 50-pound monofilament, and that goes down to a wire leader that's about three foot long. And on that, I've got a, a 10 aught size circle hook Oh man, he is strong, man. We just we just made him mad. There he goes again. We want him to go. If he's going somewhere, go this way. He don't need to be going to the right. Because there's a bunch of them old lobster pots or whatever they are over there. I got into them things last year. And it cost me a couple fish, so. We hoping not to run into them again this year. They may be some wind noise on the camera, y'all. I apologize. They ain't nothing I can do about it. The wind has continued to die down as the afternoon went went on. I waited later in the morning to leave today just just so that it would be calming down as I got out here. The rest of the week it's gonna be questionable. I'm gonna have little windows of time that I can maybe get on the water. So I'm gonna try to take advantage as much as I can. We definitely making the most of it today. Getting a barracuda. That's my first ever barracuda, by the way. I've never, I've never got one before. But first one of those and whatever this is whoo y'all i think i'm just gonna have to it's gonna be a long fight i'm just gonna have to edit part of it out i'm just gonna hang on let him pull me around till he gets tired and then we'll pick this video up when i get him up to a point where we can see him i reckon there he is oh crap he's up under the kayak he's up under the kayak Oh man, oh man, what's going on here, what's going on here, where's he at, 
Oh. Oh crap, what has happened here? Oh no, he's got my dang pedal drive. He's got my pedal drive, y'all. Oh man, we're in big trouble. We're in big trouble. <laughs> okay. Oh man. <laughs> what a disaster that was. I hope I didn't just my line. I hope he didn't just cut my line on my prop. I got a dang backlash now. Oh, <laughs> I brought him up here. Okay, good. He's still on. I hope it didn't weaken my line. I was bringing him up by the kayak trying to get a, a look at him there for the camera. He swam through my pedal drop. Well, we got lucky right there. He's about wore out and I know I am too. a better look at him right there. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Man. There's my leader. There's just no way. There's just no way. This is too dang, he was too dang strong. I'm not going to be able to get that hook out. There's nowhere around here to beach. Man. <laughs> there he goes. I get him up for a second. Then he's right back down. All right, y'all. It's over. I just ain't nothing more I could do with it. I had to cut my line. I got down there as close as I could to my leader and snipped it. I just wasn't going to wear that fish out to be able to safely remove that hook out here in open water. And there's just no... You look around, there's an island way back over there. But otherwise, I mean, there's just... There's nowhere for me to potentially beach him, and that's if I could even coax him to going where I need him to go to be able to do it. So that's just part of it. And you hook a fish that big, and what can you do? But good thing is, out here in salt water, my wire, the hook, it'll rust out in no time. And truth be told, snipping that's probably better than just tiring him out to more exhaustion. But anyway, y'all, you can see over there the sun's down. And I'm a long ways out through here, so I'm probably not going to make it back to the car before dark. But I'm going to dang sure try. I'm going to puff it and puff it out through here to try to get back. Because this type of place, with the type of sharks that's out here, I don't really want to be out here after dark, to be honest with you. But what a day, though, man. I've had a blast. Well, my Florida Keys adventure continues. Today, I'm in a place called Bahia Honda which I kind of feel is a good omen because heck man, I drive a Honda. But anyway, I've had several people last year and this year both tell me there are some big sharks that hang out down through here. So we're going to try to do some fishing here today. I'm about to launch my kayak here through these ankle breaking rocks. This place right here, dang near treacherous to get your kayak out. But once I get it out there, I'm going to go up here to this old bridge and work these columns. I spent the morning getting us some live baits. So we're going to go up there, drop them down along them columns. And man, I don't care. I ain't discriminating today. Whatever big wants to play tug of war with me, I'm up for it, man. I'm up for the challenge, man. I'm here to have some fun. I hope y'all are too. Let's get out there and get after them, y'all. So y'all, here's our first bait going out there. I've cut a few slits in him, just make him thinly sliced, just like I like my deli meat on my sandwiches. We're gonna toss him out there. I've got him under a balloon on a wire leader. So I don't know if you can see, the balloon is kind of on the edge of that column. I'm farther out from the bridge. The current is going this way. So I'm letting it push the bait and the balloon. And so I've got him swimming right on the edge of these things as I troll my way along. So I'm hoping any fish that are, that are working around these bridge columns feeding or maybe directly behind it there that pick up on the scent where I've slid him and got him bleeding a little bit, they're gonna rush up there and get him. If this don't pan out, we'll go over here and we'll hit that other one, do the same thing. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go, here we go. Finally hooked up here on something. Oh, look at him going over there. Look at him going over there. Oh man, I don't know what that is. Oh man, he's back there. He's going crazy back there. 
by that bridge, y'all. Oh, did he just come off? Oh, crap. I botched it. No, no, he's still on there. He's still on there. He's going back that way 100 miles an hour, buddy. There he goes. There he goes. I thought, he'd, I thought I'd botched it. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm just hanging on. I'm just hanging on. Goodness. I don't know what he is, man. I've waited a long time for him. I know that. I've been out here trolling around about two hours now. It's been tough going. This current is... It's been tough. <laughs> this part of the bridge over here, it's not as bad. Over there on the other side, holy cow. It's just, it's a dang treadmill just the whole position. Boy, I need this fish to turn. Because we're going, we're about to go through these bridges here. Oh. Uh, I can't. He, between him pulling me, I need him to turn. Between him pulling me and the current, we're about to have a hard time here. This bridge. Oh no. He did come off then. He just broke me off on that on that bridge piling. Crap. There was some kind of shark. I don't know what kind. Oh no. He didn't uh no. I thought he broke me off on the bridge pilot. He bent a dang hook out. <laughs> well, crap Ola, man. Ain't that a big howdy do? Bent the dang hook out. <laughs> and here we go through the bridge. Well, unfortunately, as you just saw yesterday, did not go as planned down there. It, I don't even really know how you say it. Bahia, Bahia, Honda, crappy, crappy, tomato, tomato, who knows, but either way, it was a challenge down there, man. I only hooked one shark, completely fumbled it, and just had a hard time fishing down there yesterday. Man, the current of the places I have fished down here in the Keys, the current down there was more intense than anywhere else, especially kind of in the, in the middle of that bridge there, the deepest part of the channel. That current was ripping, man. I had to I had to keep after it. If you took your foot off the gas, if you quit pedaling, you were gone. So in a sense, I'm kind of thankful I didn't hook into something big that towed me way out because I'd have had a hard time getting back. But today, you can probably see here, the wind is up a little bit this morning right here at sunrise. And it's supposed to get worse throughout the day. So I think it's going to knock me out of fishing safely today. So I'm going to head down to Key West play tourist maybe get me a cheeseburger in paradise at the original margaritaville you know see the sights and stuff and then get back after it here once the wind calms down here later on this week but uh i think this is unfortunately probably going to be the last saltwater video you see of my trip here i made myself a promise on the way down through here after i left lake ida i was like you know i'm gonna film for two days down here fishing hopefully get two videos unfortunately it didn't work out after yesterday but i was like after that i'm gonna take the rest of the week and just vacation have some me time off camera not worry about lighting in the sun or the wind messing up audio like it's probably doing right here on this segment but i'm just going to enjoy myself down here in paradise man the florida keys just absolutely beautiful this place right here is is where i'm staying these little villas right here got their own beach got a launch right over here got a dock been catching some bait right here off the dock so very convenient very awesome so i'm just going to take the rest of my vacation time here and enjoy me so unfortunately didn't get the, the two full videos like i had wanted to but i'm hopefully going to catch some fish out here the rest of the week man right out here last year about 100 yards off this dock is where i hooked that hammerhead and so definitely going to put in some time out here uh, later on this week and uh, 
yeah just have some fun man just live it up a little bit down here so wherever you're at out there hope you're doing well thank you for watching hope you have a happy thanksgiving or well, at this point hat thanksgiving hasn't happened yet but by the time you see this it is so i hope you had a happy thanksgiving and uh yeah y'all so anyway thanks for watching wish i could have landed that one yesterday that straightened the hook but either way i'm having a good time down here and hopefully going to keep it going i'll see you in the next one